Are the, would you play Lear? As a woman, yeah. Do you have hunger, appetite, ambition to play? Because I'm on the subject now of a writer, of a writer yeah. in a time in a theater that gives so much to male actors yes. and so yes. less yes. to yes. great female yes. actresses. Yes. Uh, you know, I think um, uh, I was really interested in doing an all-female time in the bathrooms. It's not going to happen. But um, because that play has no sexual relationships in it. And I like to think that, you know, the play is not about misogyny, but misanthropy. And women are always doing simultaneous translation, going, oh, when he says mankind, he does mean men and women kind. Uh, when he means, oh, where is there an honest man? He means honest men and women. And we're always doing that. And I thought it'd be interesting for a change for women to be the voices because we can be just as evil and manipulative and voracious and uh, flattering and sycophantic as men. Lear. Are you going to play Lear? I, I don't know about Lear. I don't have a hunger. I'd like to play Prospero. Prospero. Prospero I would like to play. I think that's an interesting one. Uh, and I wanted to play Jaquees 30 years ago. I asked David William and he looked at me and went, you know, because then it was, I didn't know that he was playing it. <laughs> you know, maybe that was something to do with it. But, um, you know. Um, uh, what would you then tell young actresses who are coming up into a profession that still is doing better on gender balance, but is still, given the nature of all the classical writing, what do you tell young actresses of great talent? Well, I just say keep doing whatever you can, and if there's an opportunity, or make an opportunity, or ask. Ask. You know, this Jake Reese came about because I asked. I said, what about Jake Reese? You know, is that a possibility? That's the Shauna who walks into Hirsch's offices. Yeah. Not all of us have that. Well, then I would <laughs> say courage. Take courage. Um, I was, you know, I had a great teacher who was a, a political, he taught me history, but in, in class he said, if you don't ask, you'll never know. You'll only know that you're accepting your ignorance. And so I remember Bernard Hopkins, who directed me when I was very young from Nuthia School, and he, I would sit with him and ask him questions. Just after rehearsal even, I would ask him questions. And he encouraged that. So I've always asked questions, because I know I don't. I know what I don't know. I think that's the first thing, <laughs> is to know right. what you don't know, right. rather than assuming you know. Um, and I think young actors could take, you know, young actors, I think, are sometimes intimidated by senior fellows in the company. Ask them. They're only too willing to answer if they're asked. I won't tell a colleague what to do or give them a, a note unless they say, what did you think? Did, did, you, did you, do you have any ideas? then I will, because they're a colleague now. As a student, absolutely. As a right. director, yes. Right. But um, when they're on stage with you, they're a colleague.